Hello and welcome back to The Film Club, the club where we talk about films that we've been recently watching, viewing, enjoying. Let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you've seen what I'm about to talk about, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. The creator trailer got me hooked instantly. I feel like it's been a fair few years since we got a film about sort of robots v humans. It was a huge thing in the early 2000s with films like iRobot, obviously Terminator, which is a little bit before the 2000s, but with how the modern day is and talks of AI, I think this came out at a brilliant time. And I loved this film. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Slightly paced wrong, but overall an, an enjoyable watch regardless. I think there's a couple moments where the creator lacks, and I think that's the character development and the pacing. Personally, the main character, I just, I didn't really care for. His relationship between his wife, I, I just didn't, I, I, I didn't care. That moment at the end where they're holding each other again, it just, it, it didn't do anything for me. There was a couple scenes where the kid, the kid AI, I felt a few things. I literally shed a tear when, when she was like crying. I was like, oh my God, that is actually really sad. And, and that character was great, but is that because it's a cute kid? Potentially. Whereas the other characters, I just didn't, I, I don't know, I didn't feel connected to. I genuinely think that this could have been a series of films, and, and I genuinely hope that they do a sequel to this film, because there is absolutely space for it. But I wish this film in itself, the creator, was split into two, because it so easily could have been. It was very quick, it was very snappy, which I get maybe they were going for that, but in terms of character development, we could have spent a lot longer at the beginning, building up the character character and adding a little bit more to him so that we care about these significant moments towards the end. The music and the cinematography of the creator go hand in hand together and it's it's stunning. Showing these grainy, lovely, all oh, the colour grading of this film. Just looking over and then you get Radiohead playing. Oh my god. Not only does that song and everything about it fit the themes of the film, but just that soundtrack playing over these shots was just... Oh, that was beautiful. All parts of this film were so good. It gave me vibes of Avatar, where it's like a a war that doesn't... is, is, like, is a one-sided war, essentially. There's humans that want to attack AI, but AI want nothing to do with it. And it was a really hot felt line when one of the AIs said if we won this war we wouldn't even take revenge we wouldn't do anything we would just live because that's that's they, they don't want war they just want to live it almost speaks to the current day of how villainized AI is people are scared of it warranted fair enough but AI may not be bad and we are just painting out to be this evil creature already. <laughs> the acting was good, I, I, I wouldn't say it was anything stellar, but I also had no complaints over it. I think this film genuinely, if it wasn't filmed the way it was filmed and if the CGI wasn't as crisp and clean and just nice to look at, then I think this film would have failed. I genuinely do believe that the film peaks in its cinematography. They did an absolutely outstanding job and I know they just used such a standard Sony film. I can't remember which Sony it is, but the fact that they used that on like an 80 million budget is ridiculous. The C yeah, the CGI was, I mean, you've got scenes in space, you've got scenes with robots and, and they just, it looked clean. It looked so good. You could tell there was time, effort put in. It wasn't a rushed project and I loved it. I absolutely think there's a brilliant sequel set up for the creator. You've got the AI who are now an upper hand against LA and, and America in the sense that they took down the, the, the Nomad? I can't remember what it was called, the, the floaty thing in the sky. America are going to be pissed at them, and they're going to probably fight back, and and, and, and that's just going to be a brilliant little sequel. The, you've got the kid with the powers to turn stuff off and on. They've literally said, and set, like, set it up almost, when she grows up, her powers will also grow up. You've, you've, you've got a leader there who could like lead them into the war and it would be beautiful but because there would be this conflict of well we don't actually want to go to war but we're also being taken to war but they're also fighting oh it would be good it would be so good but then there's also a part of me that thinks not every film needs a sequel because we have got into such a habit of making everything a franchise so it, it swings and roundabouts but overall I, I, I enjoyed the creator I had a good time with it I just I, I just didn't care much for the characters but uh, apart from that the story was great the writing was good the music and the cinematography is what hooked me originally and it's it's what spoke to me the most in the film what did you think of the creator let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time
on the film club.